the fifth, the number five. The number five is an eye. There's the eyeball, and there's the eyebrow. You can see it in, in the like Egyptian drawings, the two fives, you know, back to back to create the two eyes. Now, correctly, this is the star's end optic. I always think of it as the ray's end optic, you know, like the rays coming out of a light into your eye. The ray's end optic, or the star's end optic, seeing stars, the five, the five pointed star, which is phi, the golden mean. So it's seeing harmony. It's the eye seeing harmony. Remember, we're now back at the quantum level. So we have the sense of sight and the personality of the observer. The personality we all get trapped in, say, watching the TV. We just become passive observers and, you know, and are fully alive, fully functioning, fully living and relating. In a situation, I'd say the function of the eye. Now, the organs of the body, from the, you know, the development of the cells, from the differentiation of the cell, you've got the heart. So, the, as I said, this phi is the heart, you know, the divine heart, you know, like the soul. Then you've got the symbol, usually a heart with an arrow through it, but here just a line with an arrow through it, the symbol for Sagittarius, which represents the heart. And, and the arrow is the Cupid's arrow, which is a glance, that glance of the eye, which traps the attention, you know, and connects with the shining self. So this phi, this heart, is basically I'd say from the star, but like from the Fibonacci series, the petals on a flower. So it's the heart, the secret of the golden flower. 